It's every Namibian's dream to own a property they can call their own. However, this still remains a pipe dream for many, as they cannot afford it. For 31-year-old Veremunde Nikanor and 28-year-old Victoria Mutikisha, their hopes have faded as the months pass by without any official handover of keys to the properties they have been paying for. The two women, who are both Bank Bendu clients, are failing to comprehend how they can be deducted for more than the set five months paying for properties which are not even 50% completed. However, their biggest fear is what will happen in case of death. They are just starting now building the house. The house have been not the the house have been not there, and I'm having kids now. If I die today, that house, my m there's no house. My kids will be will be no way. I find myself struggling even to pay my renting fee, even to help my family at home, because the money I used to help my family at home is the one I'm paying for my rent instead of staying in my house. Approached for comment, business mogul and owner of OB David's properties, O'Brien Davids, apologized for the delay while shifting blame to Bank Venduk and the ministry for processing the monthly installments on homes which are not near completion as should be the case. If government deduct the subsidy or payment is being deducted from the salaries, we do, we do not have control over that, which is not supposed to be happening. That is somebody at government side who is not doing his job properly. We do not instruct banks for any deduction. They can be rest assured, you know, that we will, at the end of the day, finish his house, houses in a very short period of time. Following our visit, it has come to our attention that OB David's properties have managed to speed up the process with some houses already nearing completion.